Well, first, Daniel, today we're going to take a look at the balancing nail challenge. I want to try with a variety of sizes. There's 20s, there's 12s, I have four penny nails, three penny nails. The smallest I have are these one pennies. They're difficult to pick up here. And then after we're done with that, I'd like to try it with these pencils. Now this piece has been around for quite a while, and the idea is to take all these nails and balance them on this single nail that's standing up. Now it would be impossible to balance all these nails on top of this one, but if we could arrange these nails so that they hold themselves together and their center of gravity is directly below this point of support, well then it will balance. The arrangement is going to start with a single nail laid on the table. Then I'm going to take the other nails and lay it on top of that on opposing sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The final step is to lay the last nail on top and then pick them up very carefully as a group. And then I'm going to put it on this nail that's standing upright. Now, why does it balance? Well, the center of gravity is somewhere in the middle of the pack of nails, and the support is directly above that position. Now, if you're extremely careful, you don't need the block of wood. You can simply take the nail and have it stand on its head, and then very carefully place the group of nails on top of it. And if you have it just right, it should balance. Like this. Now let's try the four penny nails. Pick them up and put them on the stand. There we go. Next are the three penny nails. Now finally we get to the smallest nails, the one penny nails. These are extremely hard to pick up. In fact, I can't do it. I'm just not dexterous enough with my fingers. It's simply too hard to pick them up off the table, so I'm going to arrange them on this little stand. Once they're ready to go, now I can grab them and gently move it over to the upright nail. Of all the pieces, this is by far the hardest. It's taken me 45 minutes to get to this point. So here they are, from smallest to largest. Now that we found that we can do it with various size nails, I think it's time to try it with pencils. I'm going to use the same type of arrangement. Lay one pencil down, and then stagger the other pencils on top of it. Lay a second pencil on top, try and pick it up. Well, that didn't work. The difference is the nail head is able to catch on the nail and that holds it in place. The pencils are simply too smooth, so they slide across each other. I need to incorporate that catch on the nail head into the top of the pencil. And I'm going to do that by laying the pencil on the table, placing a screwdriver on top of it, and then tapping it with a hammer. That's going to make a dent in the metal ferrule of the pencil and that's going to be able to catch on the top pencil and hold it in place. And there we have it, the nail trick done with pencils. Well, there's how to perform our balancing nail challenge. I hope you found it interesting, and if you did, come back and see me again. Okay, bye.